Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here. Today I'm going to talk about war driving. War driving started back in the day when Wi-Fi was first kind of starting out and there weren't a lot of uh, free uh, Wi-Fi uh, access points available in the public at least. Uh, so people would go around kind of mapping out uh, where the freely available Wi-Fi was so other people could use it. In some cases it was private uh, Wi-Fi access points. Uh, sometimes it was opened intentionally, sometimes not. Uh, other times it was just kind of a public access point that was available. In fact, they used to have a code that they used uh, where they would write on the sidewalk with chalk in, in, a, in a code similar to the way hobos had codes. They'd write on the sidewalk to show there was a place where they could sleep or they could eat. And so if another hobo came by, they could uh, go and get something to eat or a place to sleep. Uh, similar thing with the Wi-Fi code. Uh, they also have made uh, databases on the internet and there's still apps and databases on the internet where it shows where uh, free uh, public Wi-Fi access is. Now it, it's a lot easier to find it now. Um, a few weeks ago I had to actually go war driving myself because I'm just trying to uh, do something on my iPhone and I needed to update the uh, OS on the iPhone and the iPhone won't let you update the OS unless you're connected to Wi-Fi. So what I did was I drove around the parking lot of this strip mall and there was a McDonald's and I actually went towards that McDonald's to find an access point so I could download my OS. So today if you want to go war driving you basically just look for a place you would know would have public Wi-Fi access uh, such as a Starbucks or a McDonald's or if you find a, a mall or a strip mall or a shopping center they're going to have multiple places where there are public access points to use. So uh, th those are the things that you would look for now. Uh, back in the day, a lot of times people connected to private uh, access points that just happened to be open because by default, it used to be when you bought a wireless access point for your home, it was open. It had no security to it. And the reason they did this was it made it easier for novice users to set up. Now they have all sorts of ways where they either run a program or have you run a program to set up the security on your uh, Wi-Fi and in fact a lot even now will just set up the Wi-Fi with some sort of uh, access or, or some sort of uh, security on it and they'll give you the, uh, the uh, password that you need and you can change the password if you want. So by default most access points now uh, are configured to be secure so you would have to purposely make it uh, insecure or open to the public if you wanted it to be open to the public but it's best to really just stick to the ones that you know are designed for public access like McDonald's and Starbucks and ones in shopping centers also chances are that your ISP or your cable provider uh, will have given you a, a login and a password to log into some of their publicly available access points uh, for example, I get internet access through my cable company and I have a login and a password and they have a lot of access points, in, uh, particularly in shopping centers in various areas. So I can actually log in using my password and my login ID and I can use their Wi-Fi access. Uh, I don't know exactly how this works. I assume they have some sort of deal with businesses that they're setting up internet access for and they also put in a public access uh, point that can be accessed by people who have accounts with them. So anyway, that is what war driving is, and uh, that's basically how you can do it now. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy technology.